What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go ahead and hit it because at 3,300 subscribers, we're having a raffle. I was debating today whether or not I was going to paint the other side. And I'm kind of out of time right now. So this side of the car is going to have to be painted some other day. This whole car needs to be washed again. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to pull the transmission out. You guys, I don't know if you guys already saw my, the post that I put up, but the water pump, the timing belt, and the tensioner are on the way. As soon as we get those, we will be installing those into the engine. And then we can slap the engine onto the transmission and start to mount it onto the car. So with that being said, what we have to do right now is since I'm not gonna be painting, we're gonna take the transmission and we are gonna clean it up and maybe paint it. Paint the casing on it so it could look pretty nice. I have the transmission inside the shed. It's right back here. You guys can see how filthy it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a two-wheeler that I have laying around over here somewhere. And I'm just gonna scoop it up real quick, throw it on here, and drag it around somewhere, maybe back here where I'm at, and put it over here and start cleaning it. So I carried it out here. I really forgot how light these transmissions are. Um, I really don't need this two-wheeler, but I already got it set up, so I just went ahead and put it right there. So you guys can see how filthy this is. It's really, really filthy. So we are going to use some purple power, and I'm planning on laying purple power and everything. And then we will be taking these off these right here these little brackets and we are actually going to be painting those gold and we're going to be painting the casing we're going to use the hammered uh the rosoleum hammered uh silver that we used before we're going to be using it on the whole case so i put it right here and we are going to go ahead and lay some purple power my throw out bearing did fall out I do have a brand new one that came with my other clutch that we're going to be using and let's go ahead and start degreasing this guy this is all purple power with a little bit of soap for washing dishes So I'm going to let it soak in for a little bit and I'm going to get a wire brush and just give it a quick scrub. Nothing much. And then after that, we're going to lay a little bit more purple power, let it sit on there 
and we'll scrub it with, with some uh, clean water. I went ahead and I scrubbed it and I laid some uh, clean water and it still looks a little bit filthy so I'm gonna go ahead and do it all over again and I'm gonna let it sit on there a little bit longer. So I went ahead and I coated it with some more purple power. I'm gonna go to the store and get some oven cleaner because this is still pretty filthy. I'm gonna probably go and get like two, yeah about two cans of, of oven cleaner and come back and lay it down because this transmission has to be completely grease free, oil free if I want the paint to stick on there and not have a reaction. Alright, so I just went to the dollar store and I got this stuff. And I also got some oven cleaner. This other stuff. And a brush. And I got myself a drink, of course. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to spray this guy first. Then I'm going to spray this guy. And then I'm going to wash everything down with this. And hopefully by then... This whole thing is pretty much the grease. Now it looks very clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it, let it dry up, and then we'll go ahead and remove all these brackets and everything so we could lay down some, some paint. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bracket. It's gonna be the first one. Then I'm gonna remove this bracket that's right here. We're gonna remove this little guy, it's right there. And now what we're gonna do is take this one off, it's right there. I'm gonna take this one that's over here off also you can see it's still filthy in there I'm gonna have to clean that out a little bit we're gonna remove this rubber piece completely off And we are gonna take this guy off. I was gonna take this guy completely off, but he's pretty stubborn and he doesn't wanna come off. So I'm just gonna use uh, some foil and cover this. And I'm gonna use some foil and cover this completely.
All right, so I got the foil on this guy. I got them on that guy. I put it on this thing right here. Um, like I said before, I didn't want to take it out because it's on there pretty good. It can come out if I force it, but there's no need to force it. It's, it's fine right there for now. Um, I cover this thing up over here. And of course, this right here, so we don't get anything inside. Um, I didn't do that great of a job on here, but it's fine as long as it doesn't get inside. That's the main thing. And then this right here, this VIN number, is almost completely gone. So I'm just going to forget about that, not even worry about that, just lay some paint down. I did scuff everything with the scotch pad so this thing's pretty much ready to take paint this is what I'm gonna be using this is the leftover that I had from when I painted some other parts on the engine it's about around here somewhere that's how much paint we have in there trying to get in all these little crannies that it has So everything inside all these little cracks and everything has paint so now I'm gonna lay just mist it over to make everything tacky All right, so I'm going to wait a few minutes and then I'll come back and I'll give it a heavier coat. I'm going to hit it with the second coat right now and this is going to be a heavier coat. I just laid the third coat right now and you guys can see that it's starting to take the texture of the hammered effect and it's looking really good.
So as soon as this transmission dries, I'm gonna go ahead and take these brackets, paint them, and as soon as that transmission dries, I'm gonna throw these guys on there. And I laid the hammer gold on all the little brackets. Let's see what it looks like. So as soon as this dries up, I'm gonna give it a few hours. I'll come back and reassemble everything. This is the fork for the transmission for the clutch. I'm just gonna go ahead and just bomb this guy. So he got really late on me and it's it's night right now. And this transmission is completely dry. I went ahead and I assembled two brackets. Um, actually one bracket and then I assembled, I put that guy back on there, the little bushing. I took out the foil from in there, I took off the foil from this guy. I put the plastic cap back on there. I'll take a better video in the morning. I still have these other parts I gotta assemble, but I'm just gonna wait till morning and I'll go ahead and continue this video in the morning and then I'll um, edit it and upload it for you guys. So it's the day after. It's Saturday today. It's around 11 o'clock right now. And I'm going to go ahead and finish putting all these guys back on there. This guy, this, the little bracket. And it's looking really good, really nice. So I'm going to finish putting the brackets on. And this video should be pretty much done after that. So all the brackets are pretty much in. Um, the only one that's missing is the little fork that goes in here. I still got to put that guy. But besides that, everything's ready to go. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this video uploaded and my next video will probably be the painting of the Civic. The Civic will be completely brown hopefully. Um, Coming up. That video. And I still gotta replace the lens on this camera but until I don't get that in the mail I'm gonna keep recording like this. I don't know if you guys can see the little specks. Maybe when it's in the sunlight, you can see that there's little tiny specks. Let me get you guys over here. I don't know if you guys can see any little specks, any like difference in the light shining. But I'll catch you guys on my next video. Remember smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Catch you guys later. Peace out, stay safe, later.